Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to improve the quality of your channel. We'll be going over your username, the layout, and some channel art stuff. Let's get into it. So usernames. You're going to want to pick a unique username that nobody else has. Something that stands out in the crowd. You know, try your name if nobody else has it. Just pick something unique. Do the research. If you find that that username you picked, there's a million results, probably not a good idea to go with that. It's not a safe bet, guys. So pick something that nobody has and take the time to do the research and look for it. You owe it to yourself. Your channel's gonna take a lot of work, it's gonna take a lot of effort. So you wanna pick something that nobody else has. Let's move on to the layout of your channel. Okay, you're gonna wanna make sure your channel is neat and clean and easy for people to move around in, right? I've, I think my channel's pretty, pretty well laid out. I got my uh, uploads here. I got a channel that I shout out and my recent video goes in here. So something like that, guys. All the settings are there for you to use. Let's talk about your channel art now. So channel art. It's the first thing that everybody sees when they come to your channel. It is the banner up here. I got my Babel Productions and my logo. There's a few things you can do to create a good channel art. You can actually click on this little picture here and it'll take you to this little page here. And you can click on how to create channel art. It will tell you everything you need to know on your channel art. As well as, where is it? Um, you click on images. Im image size and file guidelines. There's a channel art template you can click to download and install. And you can open it in uh, Photoshop and then you can edit it and make it the way you want it to be. But not everybody can pay for Photoshop. Not everybody has it. So what are some other ways you can do? I'll show you uh, a cheap, actually it's free, way to create your channel art. The webpage is called footer.com and you can go to it create an account and you can sign in with Facebook or whatever you want to sign in with. And it actually is a template for your channel art. It's made for that. It has templates, stickers, uh, background pages. It has a text so you can click and uh, type whatever you want on your, your page, which is awesome. So you can click and create whatever you not need. So you can get images. Where can you get images from? You can get images from Google, but you're going to want to get royalty free images, guys. You don't want to use somebody else's because that's illegal and copyright. Who knows where your channel is, but if you get really big, you could be taken down by copyright or anything or get sued. So try and look for royalty free images. Just Google search that and go from there or create your own. Use a black background and create your own with your own text and your own stickers. You know, that's something you don't want to avoid is using someone else's content. So it's illegal guys. But this is definitely an easy way to do it. You can um, load, import your images. You can import an image onto here, and then you can um, size it, move it around. There's a little guidelines here for you to follow. Have it centered. And then you can look onto your preview, and it will show you what it's going to look like when you go to web pages. So look for computer. Looks like that. Laptops looks like this. Your phone looks like this. And uh, obviously you're going to want it to be centered. Mostly people are on their phone or the laptop. Not everybody has like a Mac. But it's important to have it perfect for all of them. So yeah, just play around with the guys, get it even, get a level, make it look good. Then you can come over here and, uh, oh, also sorry. You can save it and download it here. You can save it as a PNG or PDF or JPEG. Quality, higher, normal. Then you can open it up in here. Select the photo from your computer. And that's it, guys. Just as easy as that. <clears throat> Hope that's enough for channel art for you guys. And just remember, don't use other people's content, okay? Because you don't know what's gonna go on. Your channel may, you may wake up one day and it'll be a million views on it. And then you're going to get noticed and the companies that you took the images from will see it and they will take you down. Okay, guys?
Okay, so last thing I want to talk about, guys, is your logo and getting one made up for you. I had this one made up by a professional graphics art designer, and the only reason why I did that was just to make sure I had something that belonged to me that was my own image. And you can do that too. You guys can head over to Simbi, and this is a free uh, web page. You get 50 points when you sign up, and you can use those points towards finding someone like him who can create it by just typing in, you know, YouTube channel art or whatever, graphics, art design, graphics, anything. And there's people on here who will make graphics for you, YouTube channel art, 15, 15 Simbi points. That's pretty cheap. That's good, guys. And that's professional and it's, you can look at their, with the work they've done before to see which one you like. And if it's something along the line, something you like, you can do that. But Simbi isn't just for everybody. You need to offer something. You need to give something back. Um, so if you know how to do something like gel nails or make some slime or something like that, you can do tutorial for somebody and they'll pay you. I made a little bit of Simbi points on here too as well by giving some tips and tricks for YouTube. So that's something for you guys to think of if you want to get one made up for yourself. All right, guys. So all the links I talked about will be in the description below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please smack that like button. I hope you guys got some knowledge from this. And if you did, share it with someone else who needs help with their channel. And leave a comment below with some questions or any advice or tips you guys need. I'm always willing to help. And that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. See you later.